In this video, we will be working example question number one, which is calculating arithmetic and geometric average returns. In this case, I have actual stock market returns and notice that it's monthly, which is extremely important because it makes a difference, especially when we annualize them, whether it's monthly or weekly or daily. In this case, it's monthly. The first month's return, the market was up 0.28%. The second month, the market was down 1.98%. In the third month, the market was up 2.42%. So we need to calculate the arithmetic average and the geometric average, and we want to annualize that. I'll start with the arithmetic average, which is the simplest one. We just take the three numbers, add them together, and divide by three. We want the average of those three, but I would highly recommend, you have to do it for geometric average, but I'd recommend you do it even for arithmetic. Just be consistent that you convert these percents into decimals. So 0.28% is 0 0.0028. The second month, we add that, but since it's a loss, we subtract 0 0.0198. And in the third month, we're up 0 0.024. Two. 0 0.0242. We take all those, divide by three, that gives us an average, average monthly average, I mean, the, a, a monthly average return of 0 0.0024 or 0.24 percent. To annualize monthly, since we're doing monthly, we want to annualize it, we take that monthly average and multiply by 12. Multiply by 12 because there's 12 months in the year. If this had been weekly, we would multiply by 52 because there's 52 weeks in the year. So the annualized average is the monthly average 0 0.0024 times 12 and that gives us an annualized number of 0 0.0288 or 2.88 percent. Do note, as we talked about, according to the CFA Institute, they're the ones who dictate the rules for reporting performance. It is not allowed to annualize averages if you have less than one month one year worth of data here we have only three months worth of data that's less than one year so according to the CFA Institute this is not allowed annualizing three months worth of data would not be allowed okay so there's the arithmetic average the geometric average is a little bit more work but it's not too bad but then the geometric average, we're going to take each monthly's return and we'll take one plus each return. Here is extremely important that you convert to decimals. So it's plus 0 0.0028. You close the parentheses, you're going to multiply that by one plus the next month. The next month is a loss, so we'll take one minus 0 0.0198. Close parentheses. And then multiply that by the third month plus one. So one plus 0 0.0242. We take all of that, we'll raise all of that to, well before we do that, let's, let's take the sum of that, let's take the product of that, excuse me. The product of that is 1.006732, and I'll show you, you'll see here in a minute why it's good to have this number. So the geometric monthly average is that number 1.006732 raised to the one divided by, well, how many months did we have? We have three months, so one divided by three. We subtract one and we get a geometric average of 0.0022 or 0.22%. For the monthly average, the geometric will always be equal to or less than the arithmetic. In this case, the arithmetic was 0.24%, geometric was 0.22%, so that makes sense. The annualized geometric average, in this case, we take that product again, the 1.006732, and we're going to raise it now. There's 12 months in the year, so we're going to raise it to the 12 over 3 and subtract 1. So, if again, if this had been weekly, you would have raised it to the 52 over 3. But since it's monthly, you raise it to 12 over 3. That minus 1, and you'll get 0 0.0272 
are 2.72%. And again, you make the comment that annualizing is not allowed. Why? Because according to CFA, you're not allowed to annualize if you have less than one year's worth of data. We only have three months worth of data. So in this case, I want you to calculate the annualize. But once you calculate it, then note that it's not allowed by the CFA. Thanks.